Hey everybody, this is Omnibus Prime, a new Let's Player effect that will explain why I'm using this normal camera, as you can see here, instead of the usual Let's Play equipment. I'm going to be doing this until I get the proper equipment. Now, if my fr I'm going to start off my Let's Play career, I'm going to be star you starting with the game Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Now, let's get started here to, for the intro scene. We'll be quiet for this part. And it's Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass! Now, oh, anyway, you can get in this new file right here was created in a practice run and recorded pro pro immediately prior to this one, which was ruined by my brother barging in on me uninvited. So... So anyway... Let's get started. With a fa Let's play a fan... Phantom Hourglass. If it'll just be, be fun. Our story begins. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to skip this intro. And then I'll let you see what happens. Play yourself. Omnibus. Save me. It's Omnibus. Now, if you if you want, you can you can watch the intro scene yourself just to see what happens. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to skip it. Maybe I'm missing a pen. No, no, I won't skip this. I won't. I will just not skip this. Hmm. I won't skip this. Oh, phew, you're awake. On by and and, and anyway, if if just in case there are any could just a color if there's any color craziness that caught my camera. Those letters are black, just to avoid any confusion. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. It looks like you're gonna be okay. I'm Sila. You see, I'm a fairy. I was out fluttering around and found you here. What happened? Reminds me of Percy Jackson in the Olympians. Percy Jackson being the son of his Poseidon. Well, anyway, enough of that. I'll be referencing that series all over throughout this work play. Now, wait, what? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you're following after her, and you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say that those it takes are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. Our house is up there, off the beach. Come on! And I'm going to just positioning of, all of everything real quick. <clears throat> See if I... Yep, okay. There, that, that should work. Oh, can you walk? Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Okay, I'm going to tell you, you can cut these sword bl in these blades of grass, but you can't do that right now without the sword, which because you don't have it yet. If you get if you go over a ledge, Link will jump, and if you're close enough to another ledge, he'll jump over the gap. And let's go over here. 
Hey, oh, and he calls out to you. Tap on him. Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to speak with them. Try tapping on other things, like signs and barrels. Okay, and there are signs and tablets you can, stone tablets you can tap on to read them, but if you're at a bad angle, you can't read it. There's our first rupee of the game! Hooray! Ooh, money, money, money. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm, I am a very weird person, just like my favorite Let's Player who actually is inspired. Not that way, I'm nervous. I did not mean to go that way. I did not mean to go that far. Anyway, if you need, there are pot types of items you can pick up and throw. The pots, which can be broken by practically any, by pretty much anything. Seriously. Anyway, there's barrels. Which can be broken only by the boomerang, otherwise you have to pick it up. And the rocks can only be broken by bombs. Anyway, I'm not going to delay any further. See, oh, what this guy has to say. Ah, uh, hello, traveler. So your name is Omnibus. I am Oceus, and I live on this island. That name and the fact that he has a no seashell on his staff should give you a hint as to who he really is, but that'll be revealed later on. Sheila told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. My grandpa, what are you saying? Omnibus's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture, and no one has ever escaped from it. That's actually a pretty creepy concept. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that sh no, that sh no, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. There's my first fail here, and this is let's play. F uh, failure to read a text properly. Wow. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? Nope. Young people. There's a part to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Lineback should be there. Lineback is actually a pretty rude guy. Cares nothing but treasure, for the most part. You see what I mean there. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. And what he's talking about is on the map on the top screen. So be sure to pay attention to that. And let me reposition the camera here. Okay. Whenever you see that DS icon, it means you need to look at the top screen on your map. You mean that guy who came to visit Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I'll go with Omnibus and show who, who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Omnibus. But she, she must have had a bunch of caffeine if she's got, being that hyper. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Omnibus. Who gave her caffeine this morning? Too much caffeine. Okay, I don't know why I just messed altered my voice. That's a unique ability I have. The ability to alter my voice. Which gives me the ability to imitate things, actually. Which I'll be putting that ability to use so that this let's play. But no, not enough of my rambling. Hang on, Grandma. Let's go, Omnibus. <laughs> Look at this face. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Omnibus. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Lineback. But you be careful out there. Okay, then we need to go this way. And when we, but when we try to go to town, earthquake! Jack and cover! Oh no, I'm being weird. I'm a weird person, just like my favorite Let's Player, whose identity I will reveal later. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately. So many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. You think? 
Let's go back to Oceus and tell him about our predicament. T predicament. Predicament. Boy, I just mess flubbed up there in my grammar. Make way to the port, right here on your map. But don't get in over your head. Seek me out if you need a helping hand. Okay. Apparently, we cannot get. Apparently, we cannot get the next message from him without talking to to this person right here. Let Quake broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately, and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to t get the town. For uh, unfortunately, right? They're fighting a cave full of monsters. Monsters? Let's kill them all! We'll wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> well, I like how he respawns. Anyway, let's go to old man Oceus, whose name and staff should tip you off on his real identity. So that earthquake broke the bridge, did it? Ah, unfortunate. There's another way to the port, but it's far too dangerous. No, wait for someone to rebuild the bridge. That's the only safe course. Don't even think about braving the path to the north. Oh, you, you just told us something you didn't want to tell us. Let's go this way. Open oh, mm, my other file, which I've actually gotten pretty far on. I use that as a practice for this. I get an, I got a bunch of game overs on purpose, and my first one was in this area. And when and when he when lit collapsed, he glitched into that cliff right there. Hey, look, it's a choo choo. Weird name. Choo-choos, they look like jelly monsters. You can see them in more detail in Wind Waker. Which my favorite Let's Player has done a Let's Play of. And I'm watching that Let's Play right now. Well, not right now, right now, but I'm in the middle of it. Monsters, look out, Omnibus. It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. You actually can't go this way yet without a sword because there's a blockade of... There's a bunch of trees like these blocking your path you can only get rid of with the sword. We have to go back. You so you can't go that actually cannot go that way. You're required to do this. You're required to have the sword to go that way. So anyway, let's go this way. Get rid of this. For the most part, I'll be doing this let's play the way Nintendo intended, but other parts that I already know like puzzles and like questions and Susan 2, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and reveal those, but you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. Grandpa uses this cave as a storehouse. Hey look, it's a door we can't open! Uh, nothing there. No, we stole a rupee! Seven, ooh. Hmm. That's actually related to the number we have to put in Keep the th hands off my things, please ask for it. Oh, oh shush. wait. How can he read a sign that's got no words on it? Nintendo Logic, as my le first favorite Let's Player calls it. Keep the. Huh? Ugh. What? Huh. Weird. Hmm. This is... Ah, uh, wait. I forgot to go talk to Oceus again. Silly me. Anyway, tried the path to the north, did you? Sila, don't pretend you forgot I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes run through the island lately, Omnibus. And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port, it's true. But that path will be crawling with monsters, don't even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Actually, you cannot, since, as I said earlier... Eh, uh, let's see, until we need to... And that's what we're going to get there now. Hey, but you, as I said earlier, you cannot go that other way just yet because you need the sword to cut down a tree and barricade of trees. Now, see the sign? See, I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get the door open? I remember he cracks the door by writing a number on that sign, which somehow has 
invisible words that can still be read. Anyway, I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. And I actually know, um, know this, and, and, that and we got our seventh rupee earlier. What a coincidence, because... The answer is seven. As soon as you get, uh, by the one, a little fun, something interesting about, uh, about, mm, something interesting to know about the sword is that it lag, you can actually destroy signs with it. You got Osha's sword! Tap an enemy or slide the stylus on the touch screen! Touching s and we're gonna be taught that again later! He ran himself sick! Good first, now we can defend ourselves from those monsters! I'm actually gonna ignore that. And this is another spot I'd gotten and I got a per mm, deliberate uh, game over at. And yet another spot inside the Temple of the Ocean King, which we'll get to later. And yet again on the Isle of Ember, which we'll get to later on. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Oh no, we're in trouble. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? I'm sorry, but we just had to. We can't bend his skin, that friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I just can't just let you go. No! Now I don't show you how to handle that sword. <laughs> I got you there. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Omnibus. Omnibus! So, you have a sword. Then know that even the best swords can be bad. If mishandled, that is. It's way weird how the way he miss what you do in various things. So I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. Just tap a target to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. Perfect. Keep at it. What? A stab attack, and he accepts it. Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock on enemies, use the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. This move requires a little practice. Simply sketch a slash. It's just like that. And to keep slashing, just sketch repeatedly. And here's what happens when you use a different move. Oh, I use a stab. Here's what happens if you use the wrong move. Don't try out other moves. Hit the targets with your spin attack. Hard time unleashing the move. Draw a larger circle. Oh, and anyway, if you try to attack him, do I look like a target to you? <laughs> Yes, draw big circles to unleash the spin attack. Do I look like I'm talking to you? Pfft, I love that. Uh, oops. That was accidental. Anyway, here's what happens if you do too many spin attacks one after another. Oh, 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 oh. If you unleash too many spin attacks in a row, you'll get dizzy. Everything in moderation, little one. <laughs> it also happen you can also make him dizzy by you can also you know, make him dizzy by doing a bunch of rolls one after another. Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you adventure out among the monsters. Well if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Okay, now I'm just gonna reposition this bunch of stuff first. Before I get any further. Oh, wait, we're actually coming upon the time limit now. So, if you like my video, be sure to watch my next video, and see you all later. I'm gonna try over and out.